Hi, I'm Mary, a librarian and book reviewer with a focus on stories written for kids, tweens, and teens. Today, I get to share with you this book called The Cookie Crumbles, written by Tracy Bajua and Alicia Dow. This is the story of two friends, Lucy and Layla, who will do anything they can to stay together for school next year. And lucky for them, there is a prestigious boarding school that will help them both advance their skills in baking and investigative journalism. Unfortunately, they have to not only get into the school, but also find a way to pay for it. But luckily, there is a contest, a cookie contest, that will help secure the funding that they need in order to attend the school. But when they arrive at the contest, they find that everything is not exactly as it seems, and when one of the judges mysteriously falls ill, it turns from a cookie competition into a murder mystery, and everyone is a suspect. So in order for them to clear their name, they and their new friends have to figure out exactly what happened before it's too late. This fun middle grade novel reads like a mix between a baking show and also a murder mystery. So you've got everyone has a has is a suspect because they have a motive for hurting the judge um, and everyone is potentially in the wrong for various reasons. Now, lucky for them, they have an investigative journalist on their side who's looking at all the finer details of the story and trying to piece it together by uh, observing exactly what's going on. There are a lot of things that eventually come to light as not being exactly what they seem and as they start figuring out exactly what's going on, they find that they're in more danger than they realized. So this story unfolds in um, an alternating point of view perspective between Lucy and Layla. So because they each have a different focus, whether it's baking or investigative journalism, they focus on different things in their retelling of the narrative also. So you've got lots of details that come into play, whether it's noticing the different flavors of the cookies, or noticing exactly how people are responding and reacting to one another. And the reader then gets to help piece together the mystery as well. Because everyone is a suspect, there is a feeling of an unreliable narrator in here. Everything kind of takes different turns and twists along the way. And so the reader feels like they are solving the mystery along with the characters. It is a good fit for strong middle grade readers. Um, there's not a whole lot of white space and no illustrations. Um, in here, but it does read very quickly because of the design of the story and the fact that it really does read as though it is taking place on a reality TV show set. If this sounds like a great fit for you or your kiddo, I hope you look for it at your favorite bookstore.